Hi, once again. Now, we'll show you an example of uh, calculating the uh, a volume of something. Okay, now volume, we know that, that the formula is something like this. Okay, so if you look at Excel spreadsheet, it's one third, okay, one times uh, pi times uh, radius times height. Okay, so this is, um, I think, the formula to calculate the volume of a cone or something like that. Okay, but you can go and find out the formula by yourself. What I want to show you is, now in, in this application, what we'll be doing is, the user input will be in that spreadsheet itself. So, for example, pi, okay, okay, you know that the pi value is something like 3.14, okay, now other key things we need we need our radius, okay, and so we need height, okay, and we need the actual volume, alright. So pi is 3.14, let's say the radius that we want to calculate is um, 0 0.5, height is 1.5. Now, so the objective of the application here is to calculate the volume, okay. Of course, we can do that in Excel, which is just to put equals and then you, you have this entire formula over here and then it'll work fine, okay, but um, we'll be doing we will be using Excel VBA to do this. Okay, now to do this, okay, let's go back to our code editor. Okay, uh, let's create a new method for it. Alright, so create a method, sub, okay, call it, let's say, calculate value. Okay, and enter. Okay, so we have to declare variables first to store uh, our values over here. Okay. So we declare a couple of variables, pi, s, double, okay, and radius, s, double also. Now why do we need double? Because they simply need, they simply need a decimal places, okay, height, s, double, okay, now volume as well, volume, s, double, okay. So what we need to do now is we first need to extract input from the sheet, right? Okay. In this case, our sheet is sheet one. Okay. So what we need to do first is we need to set this sheet as the active sheet. Okay. The active sheet in which we get the data from. To do that, do sheets. Okay. Give it the name sheet one. Okay. Dot select. Now. Okay, uh, I know this might be pretty scary, but what it simply means is we are selecting which sheet we want to take data from. Okay, we do that by sheets, okay, open bracket and open uh, double quote, and the sheet name. So if your sheet name is not sheet 1, but some other name, you will have to change this as well. So we select this sheet, okay, and then in this, what we have to do after selecting sheets is we have to select the actual cells, okay. We have to select the actual cells. Okay, we can do this by selecting a range. Okay, in this case, okay, we're going to select from B two. Okay, B two. Uh, so B two, what we can do is we can do this. Uh, so now select the cell itself. Okay, select the cell. Let's select B two. What we do is range. Okay, and then we do this. Okay, B two. Okay, so what this is is actually selecting a range which is B2. Okay, and then dot select. Okay, very simple. Yeah. Okay, so what we do now is we know that in B2 the value contains the value of pi. Okay. So we want to have the value of in B2 to be assigned to pi. Okay, so what we do is we take pi equals to now we're gonna extract the active the active cell now the active cell is already selected in sheet one and in b2 okay so we take active cell okay active cell dot value okay which will give us the value of pi okay now to test this okay what we can do is we can do uh okay we can put a break line okay what happens when we put a break line is we can run the code and then the code stops here we can see what's the value of this okay so click on the ar arrow okay okay you can see okay what's the value is zero okay but 
if we go to the next line, if we do a step over, step over, go to the next line. Now the value is 3.14. Okay, 3.14. Okay, so it actually gets the correct value. So this is about using the debugging function, uh, which I'll talk about later. Okay, but to stop this first and let's carry on with our project first. Okay, now to get the radius and the height, it's the same thing. Okay, just that we need uh, to do uh, our changing of our, our select. Okay, so what we can do is we can actually do this straight away. Okay, we can uh, select the range. So our radius is in B3, right? Okay, B3 and height is in B4. Okay, so B3, so radius will be in. Okay, radius. And now we copy and paste this. Okay, B4. So what's in B4 is our height. So we change it to height. Okay, so what we have now is we have our high radius and height okay now let's do the debugging thing again okay so we put our line break just click at the margin over here okay click on run this okay you see when the line is highlighted in yellow means the debugger has stopped there okay so we, we just need to go on to the next line okay by doing a step over shift f8 so i'll be using the shortcut so shift f8 okay shift f8 shift f8 okay look at mouse over pi to see the value 3.14 Okay, shift F8, shift F8 again, now mouse over radius, yes, 0 0.5, okay, pi is 3.14, shift F8 again, now height is 1.5, radius is 0 0.5, and pi is 3.14, okay, so, what we have now is we have gotten all the user input successfully, now we need to calculate the volume now, okay, so we're using the formula, volume equals to, now this portion, okay, we, take, we know that it's, uh, the formula is, Formula of volume. Formula of volume is one third times pi times radius times uh, h, right? Okay. Okay. So what we do is uh, volume equals to pi. Okay. Okay. Times our radius. Okay. Radius times our height. Okay times 1 divided by 3 okay in fact we can just do like this we can bracket the whole thing and then we can divide by 3 okay now what we are doing down here is we are putting the variables together and we are using operators okay operators to calculate our formula so this is a multiplication operator this is the division operator of course you can have other operators like addition and subtraction okay so once you have calculated the volume, we will output the volume, okay? So where do we want to output the volume to? The volume is in B5, right? B5, let's highlight this, B5, okay? B5, so what we do is now we select B5, okay, range B5, okay, let me scroll down, and then what we can do is active cell, dot value okay it goes to volume all right okay and there we have it so what we are doing here is that now we are selecting the range b5 and the f the value that we have created in this volume variable which is this okay will be assigned to our active cell which is b5 okay so if we run this let's take away the breakpoint if we run this okay and we go back to our cell spreadsheet okay, the volume is automatically created for us okay to summarize declare variables select the active sheet select the cells that we want to input value into uh, to take user input from okay pi radius height all to extract values from user input now we calculate the volume formula and now we want to do output, we select the cell which we want to output and we assign the result to the cell that we want to output. Okay, so it's from volume into the active cell. Whereas from here is from active cell into the variable. So I hope you can see the difference here.